Growing up poor, Javino McLean didn't have much, but he learned early in life that the greatest gift you can give others is your time and help. About 15 years ago, the former powerlifting champion realized that the best way for him to help others is to use his knowledge of athletics and open a health center for people with disabilities, and he doesn't charge them a single cent. But when it comes to somebody who's going through a dark episode, somebody who's is going through a battle, I've never felt the need to take that person's money. They're already going through enough. And that person is, in, is trusting me with their life. Best believe that I'm going to do my best to make them come out of it with a smile on their face. Amy and Josh are two of Javino's 50 clients, and they both have cerebral palsy. They say training with Jay has completely changed their life for the better. I've never been able to walk unaided without someone's help. With Jay, you can't really say no, because he's so convinced. He's like, you will do it, even if it hurts you, you will do it, because you're more powerful than you believe. He gets you out of your wheelchair, and no matter how tired you are, you end up doing it. That in itself is so powerful. The hardest part for me, at least, is being completely unable to walk. He said to me, I don't care about what you can't do. I only care about what what you can do. I don't care about your wheelchair. I don't care about disability. I care about the person inside the wheelchair. That wheelchair, it doesn't define nobody. It doesn't define you. That's why I'm trying to tell people. The time that wheelchair is just a part of you. I'm more concerned about how many barriers we can smash through. I'm more worried about how many smiles and laughs we can create in that session. Josh didn't think he'd ever get out of his wheelchair, but Javino coached him through it. It wasn't just an accomplishment for Josh, but an inspiration for another young boy with the same condition. And he sent me the video and he was crying, he's very emotional, just saying that for the first time in his life, he's realized that, that the wheelchair isn't him, it's just a part of him. And that was beautiful for me, because what I want to do in my life is to just inspire people. I like to do it with uh, the hope that someone out there is going to try and do this for themselves. So like just to hear that something I've done has had that kind of impact is such a great feeling. Amy came to Javino after developing PTSD. In 2017, she was at the Ariana Grande concert in Manchester when it was bombed. 22 people were killed. Before that, I loved going to concerts because concerts are quite an inclusive thing. Um, you don't get judged. Everyone's just there to have fun. But with the Manchester bombing, my anxiety and depression got a lot worse. I developed PTSD. I had quite a few panic attacks. I don't think that that's ever going to go away. It's just going to be something that is easier to handle. A friend of hers messaged me saying, I've got a girl here who's a big fan of yours. She's not getting out of bed because she's depressed. Is there any way you could speak to her? I said, I ain't going to speak to her. I want to meet her. I want to train her. It's given me something to look forward to because being disabled, like, I don't really get out much. So I don't just look at Javino as, like, a trainer or a, a physio. I look at him more as, like, a best friend. She said that I'm the reason she gets out of bed. And this is what I mean by this stuff. is It's more than exercise. That is such a powerful humbling thing to me and I, that's why I take it so serious. Javino's role is not just physical. The mental coaching and motivation is essential in his rehabilitation work. For someone like me and Josh, even just getting out of bed in a morning and getting dressed is a marathon and a half. A few weeks ago, Jay had me swinging off a rope like a monkey and I never thought in a million years that would be something that I'd do. And when I got home, I felt a little bit emotional because I was like, oh my God, did that actually just happen? People that I train are going through battles that are unimaginable. It's so deep and it's so challenging. 
and every day I'm working with these amazing people and I'm, and I'm seeing them overcome. The strength of heart and the strength of personality and the strength of character, that there is the most impressive kind of strength to me. It can take people out of a reality that's not a nice place, a reality where it's quite lonely and cold and it's hard, to a fantasy world where they can laugh and smile and joke and they can not feel any pain for a little minute and they can kind of escape to a place where everything's okay.